divers, welcome to our channel where we teach all things scuba diving. My name is Aitor and I'm here today to teach about tropical fish identification techniques. The fish on this video are organized in different identification groups based on families with similar physical characteristics. And we will use those characteristics, color code and body anomalies to identify the species inside the different families. The different identification groups they are used on this book. For me, this book is a must to have if you are a scuba diver, either digital version or the paper book. So, ready for some cool tips about fish identification? Let's go! Let's talk about the family of the butterfly fish with 79 species. Most of them have A spots on their flanks and dark bands across their eyes. Body shape is laterally narrow and they have an interrupted dorsal fin with rounded or truncated tail fins, but never forked. The red fin butterfly has a pale color with oblique stripes, anal fin in red and base of the tail pale. Also, they have a yellow edge black band across the base of the anal fin. The next one is the long nose butterfly, has a yellow body color with black upper head and silver or white below black spot on anal fin, below the tail base, and obviously a very long nose. The Eclipse butterfly has a bright yellow color. The large blue edge black spot on the middle of the back names this fish. Don't miss the pair of diagonal blue lines on the lower body. The last one is the cross hat butterfly, with a net pattern covering the body outer tail in yellow, a broad yellow bar across the rear body, and black eye bar are the tips to identify this butterfly fish. Our next family is the angelfish with 51 species. They have a large laterally compressed body and they are very colorful. The angelfish is the classic reef fish for many underwater photographers. They are easy to recognize by the presence of strong spines on the gill covers. Some of them they are very different from juvenile to adult. The first one that I choose is the semicircle juvenile uh, angelfish. Bluish black underfloor with distinctive semicircular narrow blue and white markings. Becoming more arched toward the rear body. Color transformation from juvenile to adult occur between 8 to 16 centimeters. On this semicircle angelfish, the coloration is already changing on the middle of the body. He is not an adult, but is not a juvenile anymore. The blue golded angelfish with a yellow-orange body with blue lips, deep blue broad lower body from nape to the belly and curving up on the base of the tail. Our next family is the family of anemone fish. Commonly known as a clown fish, they have the ability to live among the tentacles of sea anemones. They live in a small social groups with a single large dominant female, a smaller sexual active male, and from two to four smaller males and juveniles. With the loss of the female, the largest male will change sex and become the new matriarch. The clownfish on the video is the Clark anemone fish. Body color is black to orange with a pair of white or pale blue bars. Second bar is wider and the tail can be white or yellow and is the only anemone fish that live in 10 different anemone species. Scorpion fishes derive their name from venomous fin spines common to most species. Most of them mimic the environment where they live, making it difficult for us to be found. Lionfishes are easy to recognize by the feather-like pectoral and dorsal fins. The tasseled scorpion fish has a long humped snout and long skin tassels on the lower head. Colors, they are very different depending on the environment where they live. The spot fin lionfish has a pale color with red-brown bands. 
translucent, fan-like pectoral fins with a few large spots and very long filamentous rays on the head. The devil scorpion fish has a really pronounced hump on the back and highly variable in color. Inner surface on the pectoral fins are yellow and orange with black spot. They are very colorful when they swim. And one of my favorite ones is the leaf scorpion fish. They have a really tall dorsal fin beginning well behind the eyes, a strongly compressed head with different color variations like the ones on the picture. The last one is the twin spot lionfish with non-filamentous pectoral fins. They have a pair of eyes spots on the rear dorsal fin, long tentacles like a skin flap below the eyes. The last family for today is the family of the sturgeon fish with 53 species. They have thin oval bodies with long continuous dorsal and anal fins. A few members possess a spine or pair of sharp spines located on each side of the body at the base of the tail. Sharp as a scalpel, those blades are the reason of this family common name, the sturgeon fish. The striped sturgeon fish has a gold underfloor with black edge, blue stripes and bluish belly, yellow ventral fin and bright blue margins on most fins. This little fella is the bruce tail tan surgeon fish. Yellow is brown to nearly black on the tail. Dark brush tail with white tail spines. And now some homework for you. Let's see if you can ID this weird looking fish. If you have an idea, drop it on the comments. Okay divers, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something useful for your future dives. If you want to know more about the scuba diving tips, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!